This was um, excerpts from that wonderful Black Panther documentary. And what you've seen is how a movement that came out of the civil rights movement and really did major groundwork, grassroots groundwork uh, within the huge American cities was criminalized by a concentrated uh, assault from all American uh, power brokers, FBI, ETC, to basically existentially change the life of those that were engaged in the Black Panthers movement by harassing them, their families, planting drug to send them to jail, shooting them. So what it goes to show is that even though we tended to associate the West with principles that have started with the French Revolution, liberté, égalité, fraternité, we have somehow unchallenged uh, that notion of the West as a moral superior gatekeeper of freedom of expression, uh, gatekeeper of uh, civil liberties, and so on and so on. When you look just a little bit closer, unfortunately, uh, not really a system that is in any way, shape or form superior to other systems. So I would say that the historical evidence of Black Panthers that he are just pass pro toto for all kinds of freedom parties and freedom fighters all around the world goes to show that um, the moment you challenge mainstream or the power that be, you will face immediate threats to your personal health and also threats to your immediate family and friends. I think we have to come to terms with those frightening exercises of power through institutions and representatives of states all over the world. I had the opportunity to travel with Okui Envisor for quite a bit in my life. Uh, we worked on Documenta 11 together and in the years 1998, 1999, I have a hard time remembering how many flights we took. It's striking uh, that whenever you're inside the Schengen area, what still is the Schengen area today, and when that passport-free traveling was introduced, every now and then you'll see police officers right at the exit of the plane, right when you walk into this tongue thingy. And they would randomly pick travelers to check passports, to check their identity. And in 100% of all the cases that officers were at the entrance of the airplane, Okui Envisor was picked and checked for his identity. Him being, of course, within the less than 1% margin of travelers that are visibly non-white European middle-class businessmen. Fight the power is still what we have to do today. Another shift in history, um, we went from Malcolm X to the 80s, public enemy, back to the Black Panthers, the 60s. And our next video will feature the wonderful, the extravagant, the ever brilliant, the much admired Stuart Hall, who died unfortunately last year, and his little film, The Spectre of Marxism.